In this video, we're going to look at mutually exclusive and independent events. We're going to start with independent events. So for an independent event, the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. So if A happening doesn't affect B, so if A happening doesn't affect the probability of B happening, then the probability of both of them happening together is simply probability of A multiplied by the probability of B. So in the question here, we're told two events are independent and the probability of A is 0 0.5 and the probability of B is 0 0.4. So that means the probability of A and B is 0 0.5 times 0 0.4, and that's 0 0.2. So now we can draw a Venn diagram for this information. So we've got A and B. Our middle bit 0 0.2. The probability of A is 0 0.5. We've already got 0 0.2, so we need another 0 0.3. The probability of B is 0 0.4. We've already got 0 0.2, so we need another 0 0.2. And here we've got 0 0.7, so we need another 0 0.3. The probability of A and B, to answer the questions now, that's 0 0.2, we've already worked that out. The probability of the union of A and B, that's all the circles together. So 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, that's 0 0.7. And the probability of A, the union of A and not B, so these two bits are A, not B is these two bits and it's a union so we want all of that together which is 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.8 okay here's another question you could pause the video and try this one okay so again we've got independent events so that means the probability of a and b is just the two probabilities multiplied together. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.6, that's 0 0.18. And we can draw a Venn diagram. We've got A and B, 0 0.18 in the middle. The probability of A is 0 0.3, so we need another 0 0.12. The probability of B is 0 0.6, so we need another 0 0.42 and we've got B is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.72, which means we've got 0 0.28 left. Okay, the questions. So the probability of A and B, we've worked out 0 0.18. The probability of the union of A and B, so that was all the circles together. That was 0 0.72. And the probability of A and not B. So these two bits are A. These two bits are not B. And means both of them. So which, have got, which bit's got both the lines? The 0 0.12. Okay, mutually exclusive events. So mutually exclusive events cannot happen at the same time. So A and B is zero. They can't happen at the same time. So the chance of them both happening at the same time is zero. So if we've got probability of A is 0 0.3, probability of B is 0 0.6, the Venn diagram for mutually exclusive events 
actually looks like this. So there's no need to have an overlap because there is no chance for them happening at the same time. So we've got 0 0.3, 0 0.6. So the outside is 0 0.1. So the probability of A and B, well, they can't happen at the same time. So it's zero, and the union, well, <laughs> it's just the two added up, so 0 0.9. Okay, another question on mutually exclusive. Give this one a go quickly. Okay, so mutually exclusive events, A and B, zero chance of happening. The union of A and B is just the probability of A plus the probability of B, so 0 